Hello Internet Allies, how are you doing? So today what I want to do is to kind of give you a bit of like an update on my YouTube channel and basically why I've made the decisions I have regarding my YouTube channel based on recent news. So as some of you may be aware, over the past few months, JK Rowling has express some views that are pretty discriminatory towards the transgender community and this channel is no place for discrimination anybody of any race gender sexual orientation gender identity etc etc you are all welcome here so this makes me really really sad because i'm a huge fan of harry potter the wizarding world the world that like JK Rowling has created, it's helped me find out like loads about who I am as a person. So it's always going to mean a lot to me, The Wizarding World. I love the books, I love the movies. Well, most of them. <laughs> I do not support in any way JK Rowling's transphobic views. And you know, it does make me really sad that she has those views as well. You know, the person that's created such a well-loved franchise, really, to be honest. You know, probably one of the most popular franchises in the world. A franchise that has brought so many people together, including people in the LGBTQ plus community as well. Um, there's so many amazing, like, creators who base their YouTube content around Harry Potter and the Wizarding World that are also in the LGBTQ plus community and like them, I'm struggling really to really know like what to post that's like Harry Potter related or Wizarding World related. So really, I don't feel comfortable making any more videos regarding Harry Potter and the Wizarding World because I don't want to promote JK Rowling's work. There are people in my life, there are friends I have, people I care about that are in the trans community and I just wanna be the best trans ally I can be. So what I've decided to do on this YouTube channel, I've decided to make all my Harry Potter themed videos unlisted. I haven't deleted these videos because I genuinely had a lot of fun making these videos and whatnot. And what I will do, if any of you are interested in watching those videos, I will leave links to those videos in the description. I mean, those videos are just fan made content. I had a lot of fun making them. You know, there's no views in those videos that come across as discriminatory like you know I would never be that person. I think it makes me sad that I've had to like unlist like all my Harry Potter videos all my Harry Potter themed videos because again some of them were some of my favorite YouTube videos I've made such as the time when I went to the Warner Brothers studio tour during Halloween. There was also one where I built the Lego Hogwarts castle which still remains like one of my most treasured valued possessions. Some people may think I may be like going too far with like my channel and unlisting all my Harry Potter themed content. Some people may think I'm not going far enough and whatever your stance on that I perfectly understand. I still enjoy like Harry Potter, The Wizarding World outside of YouTube and outside of like social media. But yeah, I will no longer be like posting anything on social media that's Harry Potter related either. I'm also no longer going to be using official Harry Potter apps such as Wizarding World, Pottermore, etc. Even though, you know, I loved taking the sort in hat quiz, getting sorted into Gryffindor, finding what my Patronus was, an Osprey, finding out what my wand was made out of. I think I got like a Phoenix core. I mean, I'm very wary of purchasing any more Harry Potter merchandise. I'm very wary of other people purchasing those things for me. The reason I say this is because as far as I'm aware, like any official Harry Potter Wizarding World merchandise, JK Rowling does get a portion of those royalties. 
I'll also no longer be going to the Warner Brothers Studio Tour, which is unfortunate because I would have loved to have gone during the winter time. I'm also even wary of buying like collaborative Harry Potter merch, such as like Lego Harry Potter sets or Harry Potter pop figures, because I'm not really certain where the royalties go for those purchases. I think also moving forward, I only really want to kind of access Harry Potter Wizarding World themed content, whether that's merchandise or whatever, from unofficial secondhand stores, third party sources, etc. etc. So really if anybody ever wanted to buy me anything Harry Potter related or Wizarding World related, you know, I'd appreciate it if it was like either unofficial, fan made or from like a secondhand shop or something like that or from a charity shop. So basically there are a lot of unofficial fan made content out there, art and whatnot, like such as films and stuff. Some I can remember, Potter Puppet Pals, one of like the first YouTube videos I remember watching that went like completely viral. That was an amazing, entertaining video. And also, um, Sisters of House Black by Kelsey Ellison. And again, she's another one of these YouTubers that is kind of, kind of ha taking a step back and thinking about, you know, Harry Potter themed content. And I think because she's not unlisted or privatised Sisters of House Black and I'm so glad she hasn't because a lot of work went into that vi video, a lot of work went into that short film, a lot of the actors and actresses in that short film are of the LGBTQ plus community. It also it's just a very good film and stuff like that and, and I've met Kelsey Arson once and she's really really nice. I think what also saddens me is people who are currently growing up, like children who may be reading the Harry Potter books for the first time or are watching the movies for the first time and they may be struggling with their gender identity. I just worry that, you know, they may feel excluded once they find out about, you know, what JK Rowling has said and done. I'm not going to claim to be like an expert on like the trans community but I do want to be the best trans I can be and if that does mean like educating myself further on trans issues then that's more than fine with me and I do think it is important to sort of speak out about issues even if they don't directly affect you and I just want to say to the trans community whatever you're going through at the moment just know that you are valid and you know I do accept you for who you are and you know please never be afraid to be the truest version of yourself and to show your true colours. However there are, there are a few things that as a fan of Harry Potter I don't want to go as far to do. First off I, I don't really want to get rid of my Lego Hogwarts castle because as I said it is like one of my most prized possessions. Second of all, what makes me really sad as well, like as a fan of Harry Potter, I do actually have like a Harry Potter tattoo on my chest. This tattoo is of the Hogwarts emblem, but what I've done is made each house into different puzzle pieces because I'm also autistic as well. And for me, that emblem just represents, you know, a sense of like belonging and, you know, acceptance of who you are. And really that's really what i believe the harry potter community should be about you know should, should be about accepting each other for who we are you know regardless of our like differences and stuff so i really do not want to get rid of my harry potter tattoo i don't want to cover it up or anything like that because it is like one of my favorite tattoos also chest tattoos are very painful so i, I, mean, I do not really want to get <laughs> another chest tattoo for the foreseeable future, okay? Also, what I'd love to hear from anybody watching this is basically just ideas for like content I can make to like replace the Harry Potter content on my channel. Whether or not that is like helping raise awareness of trans issues or the LGBTQ plus community in support of the LGBTQ plus community 
or just I or just any fun ideas in general that you'd love to see me do. Thanks very much guys for watching. Um I hope you're having a wonderful day and until next time, keep smiling. Bye bye.